Well, I was ready to go. I'm all packed, all ready. It's 3 a.m. Looks like I'm doing a how to rebeat your tyre without any tools on the side of the road. Luckily, I'm still at home. <laughs> and pause. And also, remember if you're doing your tyre and you're removing it. That'll stop your pistons from coming too far in because your disc isn't there. Not so important on bikes, but on motorbikes, especially a piston can go too far in no matter how hard you push them, you've actually got to reset them. So, fold it over business card, good to go. Well, I've got it this far here off now, just like anyone else there. I've used these. They come, I don't tend to take them with me. I used to take the plastic ones. These ones here really scratch up the crap out of your rims. Um, taking the plastic ones, but like a lot of people that have gone from uh, dish type base to MTB, the first I wanted to change these, you get to a point where you're putting the tyre back on and there's nothing you can do. You bend and break every single one. Why does it happen? Let's hit pause and have a look. See, there is absolutely, from this point onwards, and from about there to about there, there is not, from this point onwards, you're breaking and bending everything. That's still wire through there. Why is it so? <laughs> There's your bead mark. It's running in that line there. There's the outside of your tyre. This is an inflexible section. So... If we all go back to school, it's just a simple matter of uh, two times radius times pi. Uh, radius is better for this one rather than diameter because of the axle. But as this one here stands, um, I jotted these down. The inside circle, so the inside of your frame is 188 centimetres. The bead is 197 centimetres but the outside of the rim that you're trying to get it over is 207. So you've got 10 centimetres you need to make up. Where do you find that 10 centimetres? In the bottom of your rim. So let's set this up and I'm gonna put it on without any tools. I lost my ship when I seen someone do this. I broke every single thing I had and had to get help on the side of the road. Then once I clued into it, last 18 months has been bliss. Um, main reason for the tube change was slime in the tube. The tube was about two and a half years old. Slime's pretty much ineffective, about two year mark. But I think I had nine patches on that tube as well. And one of the old patches had let go and the actual puncture had started to split along the seam. I've just gotten into the habit now of about 18 months, I just get new tubes. I don't go tubeless. I've got a bad history with bacon strips. <laughs> tubes, whack it out, whack a new one in, on your way. <laughs> okay, so radius times pi times two gives you your circumference. We're at least 10 centimetres out. Okay, I'll see if I can sit this up here and we'll do this in real time. Okay, a uh, couple of little tricks of the trade here. Valve at the bottom. Keep everything in line and you won't find your tube will gather up and spit. Secondly, over the top, normally I do this the other side because if your hand slips, you hit your knuckles, but hey, anything for my art. <laughs> God, you're a knob. Okay, start directly over the top, two thumbs, pushing down, you're trying to get it into the valley. So this is where you're going to pick up your 10 centimetres, all the way around, just sort of give it a little push. Okay, follow it down, keeping pressure on both sides. Put a uh, pump or two of air into the tube, just give it a bit of form. And you'll see there, we're now too long. So, if we just keep going, pulling it down, and now we're in. Completely done. Locked in. I don't have the soda can trick to fast increase. As you're pumping it up, pump it up rather slowly and just firm it around as you're going. Could take up to 15 minutes, but you'll beat it in nicely. About every 18 months to two years, change your tubes. 
I think you'll get out of trouble. <laughs> well, to the nine Thai leaders that I've left around the country over the last fucking three years, may I say that has been a delight to learn. Happy bike packing, everyone. Oh, do your maintenance yourself. Save your fortune. Remember, you never fail at maintenance. You've just learned something. Peace, love and harmony, guys.